Hi guys and welcome to today's painting video. Today I will talk to you without a script because I thought I will spice things up a bit and make every video a bit different than the previous one because well it can get a bit boring and also it's a bit more personal like that. You will hear my weird English plus some grammar issues as well so be prepared for that. <laughs> if you can bear with me, then I hope you will enjoy the video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the process of my uh, most recent oil painting in the Garden of the Nymphs, and uh, I will explain how I paint portraits. Before I start, I wanted to let you know that I have a very long painting tutorial video about this painting for my patrons available at the $5 reward tier, where I explain the complete first layer of oil paint, what, you, what you're actually seeing me doing here, but I explain like every single brush stroke. The second a layer of oil paint is also available for my patrons at the $10 reward here um, as a real-time video. I don't explain but you can see the whole process. It's I think two hours long, like the first video is one hour and 20 minutes long. I think the second one is two hours long. So you will be able to see really everything of the process. If you're interested in that, head over to my Patreon page. Um, also on my website I have a section under the liuba.info slash tutorials where you have a overview over all my tutorials or almost all my tutorials. I haven't uh, updated the complete list yet, but uh, especially if you want to rewatch older videos, you can find them there and it's like very clean and simple and uh, yeah, I personally like this page a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's start with the portrait painting process now. I'm starting off with almost every portrait that I do with a drawing that I transferred onto my canvas. So in this case I just printed out my reference picture on normal printing paper. I glued it together and then on the back I filled that it in with lead pencil or pastels and then I just traced it through. This saves time and I am sure to have the correct measurements and proportions. Of course if you are learning how to paint portraits then um, it's good to make a drawing or a freehand drawing so that you can uh, improve your drawing skills. Um, with this painting I started out with the dark tones on the left side of her face. I also uh, began with uh, painting in the eyes, like the lash line, but I, uh, I didn't focus on the eyes. Sometimes I start with the eyes, painting them imperfectly and then with the mouth, but because this one was a bit bigger than my usual portraits, I wanted to cover as much um, space as I could so that I wouldn't endlessly be painting on one particular single area and then I would be left frustrated. <laughs> so instead I started with the left side of the face which was also the shadow side and I mixed um, different skin tones and then I placed them next to each other. Uh, I used a lot of burnt sienna yellow ochre, olive green, cadmium red tones and um, yeah I think and I think ultramarine blue too and when you mix all of them together you get different variations of browns which was the uh, color that I was looking for. Also I used a lot of Naples yellow and royal blue or king's blue I'm not sure I think it's royal blue in English and um, yeah these colors are um, a very nice paints to mix skin tones and I when I mix skin tones I don't mix like one particular tone and then I place like this one tone all over the face. Instead I see the face like a little puzzle which consists of a lot of different little patches uh, which I then mix and place next to each other. I don't pay attention to to blend them into each other. Instead I 
just place them first and get the overall color values right and the paints right. And then in the end, um, for blending, I use a very dry brush uh, without anything on it. Like it has to be completely dry. And it's also helpful to let the oil paint dry a bit as well, like for example, half an hour. And then you can, when, when you touch the surface, um, everything it will be blended into each other. Like when you touch the surface carefully with your dry brush, you can make a nice blending. Um, I do it in the first layer and then in the second layer, I would um, continue with just repeating the whole process. So I would just add more paint to the face. Um, just do the puzzle thing again, just place one <laughs> um, blob of paint next to each other and then I would blend them. So it's just the same process but it's a little bit more refined because I've already um, pre like put down the first layer of paint. Now you're seeing me painting in the rest of the composition and I'm also the first version was with a green rose um, hair accessory that she has there and I didn't like it <laughs> so uh, yeah I just had to wipe it off and then I continued with the other parts of the portrait. Um, it was it was a bit difficult for me because this subject was larger than my usual subjects and my reference photos weren't the greatest to be honest so <laughs> the flowers that you see me painting here are like they were very like pixel like and the JPEG that I used was not a good quality JPEG. So I had a very hard time painting them in and trying to notice details and color values and oh my god it was horrible. Um, when I will when I do the next larger oil painting I will take care of better reference photos. When I do something small like I can do the I can take the worst photo that I found on Instagram or Pinterest and use it as a reference for my flowers but yeah not when I do those larger portraits. You just need more detail for that. Um, especially for flowers I have taken so much of my own flower pictures I don't know why I just why I didn't just take one of my own uh, one of my own photos that I've uh, stored on my computer so whatever <laughs> uh, yeah then I continued with the washes um, that I, I really anticipated this part because I knew that I would do the washes on the painting um, this is uh, why I placed the face like in the middle of the painting so that I could add these washes to the canvas and I really like them they are also only really well um, possible with um, oils and not with water-based oils but with uh, mineral spirits like when you use normal oil paints and the um, paint thinner is mineral sp spirits because it has a different um, like it it flows differently than water and the washes that you can do with turpentine or with um, gamsol are more like they look more beautiful in my opinion than if you would, would just use water. So this is what I um, what I've experienced at least. Um, by the way, I will have all the materials that I used for this painting down in the description along with links to Amazon. Um, if you decide to buy over those links, you can support my art because I get a small percentage of these um, sales as well but you don't uh, you don't have to pay like some extra money for this it's just if you like to support my art <laughs> but of course you don't have to do, do that um, so what you're seeing me doing here is adding the second layer of paint to her face and oh gosh this was so much work because um, this face actually had I think three at least three layers maybe a fourth layer too because in the middle of the process I decided hey the face is too dark I, th I think I need to make the whole face lighter again and this is what I do here um, I add I added this grayish skin tone and the thing that I noticed after I finished the 
grayish skin tone was that I didn't like the gray. So in the next layer I would add more of a yellowish and more saturated skin tone. And yeah, this happens. Like I um, like this process of adding layers and layers over your oil paint is actually a process that I enjoy. So when I was younger and I didn't I wouldn't spend my time or I wouldn't share my art on social media, I would honestly have like four or six layers on every oil painting because I worked so long on them and you can see it like the more layers you put on an oil painting the better it will get like it's really that uh, it's really the case because um, the oil paint will shine through every layer it will get thicker it will get more body it will glow and it will become just richer and and more beautiful so um, yeah when I look back on this oil painting because it's still here at my studio it has found a new owner but I haven't shipped it yet so I'm just very happy because it has so many layers it's like a real oil painting I put a lot of time in it and yeah I love it so much so um, I'm still here at the second layer I do the same strategy that I just explained just putting one piece of paint to the next one and then adding um, then blending it so in this part of the process instead of blending it later on I just blend it while I add those little um, bits and bobs of paint because I try like to finish it with the second layer so I, I want to uh, really mix in everything um, directly but it's all too gray like um, it's it looks good already but I was still wasn't happy with it yet but before I realized that I continued on painting in more of the details of the composition for example that braid she has around her hair and this took me a while to get ready I find braids very difficult to paint and I'm always struggling with it so uh, most of the time I start with the darkest part of the braid like the shadow area and then I go in with a lighter tone and I try to work out the individual um, hair strands a bit but not all of them because um, it should still look more realistically and this just took some time until I got this part right. The butterfly was equally difficult to paint and I haven't counted how often I would paint over this damn butterfly thing. Um, I, I just started the wrong way around. So I started with first uh, adding those veins on the wings, like the black veins, and then I would add the yellow. But in order to get a very fine result it is better to first paint the yellow base color then let everything dry no you have to be patient for that because i wasn't patient myself i couldn't wait and yeah but then adding the black veins on the butterfly so yeah i didn't do that so i had to paint over it like a hundred times and for the background i added those lovely washes i wasn't sure where to place them so i just um, put them where i thought they would look nice and just experimented until i had a nice background um, pattern there yeah and here you can see the green rose that i was talking about and i was struggling i didn't I didn't think that it would look nice so I tried to uh, mimic it as best as a reference photo was but I just I wasn't happy with it so in the end I decided to add a white poppy there instead of this green rose and here you see me painting the other roses on her headdress and I struggled uh, like with the reference because it, it wasn't really easy to see anything on my reference photo. I think in the end they looked good but it took a lot of time to get them to that point. I also worked a lot on the background to get the right white tone here. I wanted to have a nice white but not too white so I just took some some more layers. <laughs> well the whole painting really it took so many hours but I'm super happy with it so whenever I look at it I'm I'm happy I, I put in so much time. Um, so I think this is it. I, uh, I think I have said a lot of uh, 
things about the process and um, as I said like if you want to hear even more details <laughs> you can find the videos on my patreon page or uh, on my website with the list of all the tutorials and I will have and oh my god like do you see the hairband that I wear there on the video oh my god and I'm eating something <laughs> yeah so I lost this hairband I'm so, so sad about it I lost it um, yeah but anyways <laughs> dump comments aside um, I will have a special print release whether about this painting or another one of mine I will have a poll um, on Instagram and on my patreon page because I want to make large prints in a like super high quality that I haven't done before so they will be very very special and yeah I will inform you more about this soon both on my social media and on my patreon so if you're interested in that keep an eye out for that I will have posts about it on my social media and I hope this video was helpful for you and interesting and also like the way I did the video I know uh, I can't speak as polished as if I would read out a script but maybe you liked it so let me know in the comments and I hope you, you are inspired to create whatever that might be and I see you in the next one don't forget to give the video a thumb up and leave a comment if you feel to share something and I see you next one have a wonderful day bye